House of the Brides and Sun. Anyhow, the best part of the whole song is the keyboard. That's my favorite part of the whole song. I like that keyboard. You know, that old organ sound sounds cool. And that band was called The Animals. They were a 60s band back in the 1960s. They were big time in the late 60s. But the band was called The Animals, House of the Rise and Sun. But you know, when you think of the 60s, some of the best music was these organs. You know, you hear the electric organs playing, like the Doors had it, the Animals had it. 
And, you know, it made the whole song a better song when you hear the electric, the electric organ. Like I said before, the best part of the song, House of the Rising Sun, is not the words, it's not the singing, it's the electric organ playing in the background. You know, it's got that classic sound to it. Anyhow, if you're ever in Kempfell Town, come buy some paintings from world famous folk artist Dennis Ramsey. I live at 27 Canaan, C A N A A N Avenue, apartment B, Kempfell, yellow house, white trim. Anyhow, I sell my folk art paintings and abstract art paintings. They cost only $100 each, up to $200 each. I can be reached at 902 365. 5044. Also subscribe to all my videos on the YouTube channel. There's art videos, singing videos, talking videos, and always give me a thumbs up. And come by my paintings in 2018, especially the middle class folks. I noticed the meanest people with their money, and I've been selling paintings since 1984. And the meanest people with their monies are the middle class folks and the millionaires and billionaires. The nicest people I've ever met, and I've met thousands and thousands of people over the years, believe me, and I've met my share of millionaires, I've met at least two or three hundred of those that have looked at my paintings and I've talked to. Uh, the meanest people I've ever met are the millionaires and the billionaires. And a lot of people may not know that, but that's the truth. Um, the millionaires and billionaires will fight over a two dollar bill. And the working poor peoples of Canada and the world, and the, the people that are on fixed incomes are the most kindest with their money. The people on fixed incomes and the uh, working poor are the nicest people you'll ever meet. Not only that, they're the most generous people you'll ever meet. The working poor and the poor peoples or buy your paintings quicker and faster than the middle class folks that have two or three cars in their driveway in a big fancy home. They're the meanest people. The middle class folks and the millionaires and billionaires are the meanest with their dollar bills. So I thought I'd share that with you today and tell you the truth. And like I said, I've met many thousands of peoples over the years. And the meanest people I've ever met are the millionaires, billionaires, and the middle class folks. I mean, the way I look at it, my paintings are only $100 each, up to $200 each. I've paid my dues in art. I've been painting pictures since 1984, so I think I've paid my dues. Um, these millionaires and billionaires and middle class folks got to step up to the plate and, you know, pay the 100 bucks or $200 for Dennis Ramsey original painting. Um, the way I'm looking at it is the middle class folks have two or three cars in their driveway, a big fancy home with a white picket fence. They have more money than brains. Because you know damn well that anybody only needs one car. You know that, right? You only need one car. You don't need, if you got two or three cars, you got more money than brains. That's all I got to say. If you've got two or three cars, you've got more money than brains. Um, and not only that, you're wasting your money. I can't understand the millionaires and billionaires. You know, you want to be flashy. Oh, I got seven cars in the driveway, and I got three fancy homes or mansions. Big deal. Who gives a shit? You'd be more sensible to have one nice home, one car, and take the rest of your money and give it away. Or put it in the bank. But flashy people that have six or seven cars in the driveway, two or three fancy homes, I don't find that impressive. If anything, I find it stupid and ridiculous. Not only that, you're just showing off with your money. Flashy people are stupid people. Anyhow, the middle class folks and the millionaires and billionaires are the meanest with their dollar bills when it comes to buying paintings. Um, or folk art, or abstract art. The nicest people I've ever met are the working poor peoples and the poor peoples on fixed incomes. They'll spend a $20 bill quicker 
and a faster than a middle class person or a millionaire or a billionaire. And I ought to know, I got a sister of mine, she's a multi-millionaire, her name's Margaret, she's a doctor, and she is one of the meanest, meanest individuals you would ever meet. She's worth about four million dollars, and I'll tell you how she made her money. She's a doctor, she's been a doctor for 30 some odd years. But she is the meanest, meanest individual you would ever meet. She would make Scrooge look like Mickey Mouse. And I'm telling you the truth. Now I'm her brother and she wouldn't even get me a cup of coffee or a donut. So what's that tell you? And she's worth four million dollars, my sister Margaret. But she wouldn't get me a cup of coffee or a fucking donut. That's how fucking mean my sister is. And I'm telling you the truth. Millionaires and billionaires are the meanest people with their dollar bills. My sister Margaret is a multi-millionaire and wouldn't even help out her poor starving artist brother, Dennis Ramsey. And like I said before, you think the Grinch was bad or Scrooge? Well, my sister Margaret would make Scrooge and uh, Thingabob there, uh, Mr. Grinch, look like Mickey Mouse. She's meaner than a fucking rattlesnake. Wouldn't he get me a cup of coffee or a donut or give me any money or help me out? So what's that tell you about millionaires? Millionaires are mean, stingy people. And I ought to know because I got a sister that's meaner than a rattlesnake and she's a multi-millionaire. So if that tells you anything. Anyhow, I want to see you millionaires and billionaires and middle class folks spend your money. Help out the starving artists like Dennis Ramsey. Don't be so fucking mean with your dollar bills. I like to get a slice of pizza or down there once in a while, or a cup of coffee or a dozen eggs. Buy my paintings in 2018. You know, um, I can't understand why millionaires and billionaires and middle class folks are so goddamn mean with their money. I don't understand that. Really don't get that. I mean, you millionaires and billionaires can't take that money with you, can you? You know what I mean? Have you ever seen a Brinks truck behind the hearse when they put the casket into the grave? Do you ever see the Brinks truck taking out all that millionaire's money and throwing it in the hole? No, you don't. You don't see that. Then the family, the sons and daughters, fight over the money, and all you got is chaos. So millionaires and billionaires share your money and buy starving artist Dennis Ramsey's paintings of 2018. Like I said before, the millionaires, billionaires, and the middle class folks, you're meaner than rattlesnakes with your dollar bills. Spend it. You can't take it with you. Spend it. Live. Live life to the fullest each day. Enjoy it. Don't hoard it away in some bank and don't spend it. Um, spend it. Enjoy it. Spend your money. Don't be scared to spend it. Give it away. Help out the homeless peoples or start some cat shelters or do something good with your money. You know, something positive. Anyhow, you take care and have a nice day. World famous folk artist Dennis Ramsey of Keffeltown, Nova Scotia. I live at 27 Canaan, C-A-N-A-A-N -A 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 Avenue, apartment B, Keffel, yellow house, white trim. I live in the upstairs apartment. You can reach me at 902-365-5044. You have a nice day. Bye for now.